Mainstream media can't seem to get enough of the innovative and completely original hairdo of NFL tight end Travis Kelsey, a.k.a. Taylor Swift's new boo. If it looks familiar to you as a black person, that's because it's literally just a fade. They're crediting him with creating the fade, y'all. According to the New York Times, Jeffrey Dugas, a barber at Obsidian Barbers in New Brunswick, Canada, his customers are lining up to get a fresh cut to look like Kelsey, and only Kelsey because Kelsey is definitely the only one who has ever done it. And what is it exactly? Because unless our collective black eyes are deceiving us, Travis Kelsey is just sporting a damn fade. Look, man, white journalists are already out here crediting Swift for popularizing swag surf. And Shannon Sharp has already disappointed black America by getting off the black hype train from his viral Cat Williams interview. Just to turn around and say with his whole chest that Beyonce ain't moving the needle like Swift, who he then compared to Michael Jackson. It's been a long week of white and white adjacent nonsense, y'all. The last thing we needed was for Kelsey to get credited for setting the trend on a new hairstyle that just so happens to be the same style. Black men have been wearing since at least the late 80s. White people tend to get in their feelings when black people talk about cultural appropriation and how it does harm. But this is exactly the kind of erasure that keeps us beating that same drum. Kelsey adopts a 30-some-odd-year-old common black hairstyle, and all of a sudden white hairdressers are talking about the fade with fresh tutorials for white people who refuse to act their age and texture. This isn't to say that white men can't pull the look off. It looks okay on Kelsey, I guess. But white writers and influencers are going to stop playing around in black people's faces and giving white people the gatekeeper keys to our culture, which are obviously not theirs to give.